Yo, what it is? What's up, guys? Today, I'm gonna be doing a little tune-up on the Civic. Not too long ago, I did a valve adjustment on the Prelude, and the Prelude's running a lot better. And so I thought, yo, you know what? Why not do a valve adjustment on the Civic? Yeah. But anyways, like I said, I've never done anything to the motor yet. I haven't taken it apart. So this is gonna be my first time removing the valve cover and messing with the K-Series motor. Woohoo! If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I don't have any experience and I pretty much just dive into projects and whatnot. So I've taken apart my Honda Prelude a bunch of times and now I think it's time for me to try out another Honda motor. But shoot, let's get started with the valve adjustment. Yeah. Prelude owner just like me, you know that there's a lot more space in the engine bay compared to this Ifgen Civic. The engine bay is pretty much one big reason why I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't really want to work on the motor that much. Because look, it's so hard to even get behind here. You got to take off this uh, this cowl, and then there's like another piece right under it that's metal. Yo, one bad thing about doing a valve adjustment is it's gonna hurt your lower back because when you got the front end up on some jack stands the front end is higher and you gotta bend forward especially when you gotta reach back towards the exhaust valves yo that thing hurts but if you got some stock wheels you don't really care about yo put it in front of the bumper that much higher and you can reach back here no problem All right, now time for the fun part. Let me show you guys my setup right here. I got a 19 millimeter socket on the crank pulley, crank pulley bolt. Got this little jack stand to support the long extension. Got it on top dead center. It does have an arrow and I use this long extension to make sure it's at top dead center. So in case you were wondering why I took out the spark plugs, it's because when you turn the motor, it actually makes it really hard because you're turning the motor and creating pressure. So you take the spark plugs out um it's easy to turn the motor and you can use a long extension to help you find top dead center a couple of special tools i got for this project i got this little valve adjustment tool and the angled filler gauge i definitely recommend just having the right tools having the right tools just makes the job easier you know so i'm gonna leave a few links to these tools i used down in the description below be sure to click them be sure to click them all and just check out what i got and what i recommend yeah. All right, so here are the juicy OEM numbers for the valve adjustment. Intake's gonna be between 0 .007 and 0 .009, and that's the exhaust numbers. Yeah. Yo, check this out. So this is the correct filler gauge size, and this doesn't even fit between the adjustment screw and the top of the uh, valve stem. So, yeah. No bueno, man. Same with the exhaust, it's uh, too tight in the back, so we gotta adjust all four of these on cylinder one. Yo, that took so long. Probably, probably about an hour, hour and a half. I would say the back ones over there to adjust the exhaust valves, those are probably the uh, hardest to get to. Alright guys, moment of truth, everything's back together, and um, let's start this shiz. Yeah! Well, I mean it's been a few days since I started the car, and so I can't really tell if it's any better. Yo guys! I think the Civic's better. Check this out. The check engine light went away. So at first, I got a check engine light because I was getting too much air. There was a crack in my air intake. And so I ended up just upgrading it to a Skunk 2 cold air intake. And my check engine light was still on. And you know, it makes sense because the Skunk 2 cold air intake is a lot bigger. It's still sucking in more air. I'm not really sure if the valve clearance corrected it, but since I've done the valve adjustment, check engine light is gone. I drove about, what, four miles and we're Gucci. Woohoo! But yo, 
that's gonna do for today guys i'm at the store about to go get some food and uh just call it a day hopefully this sparked your interest into doing a uh, valve adjustment yourself um you probably don't have to do it yourself you could probably take it to a shop and have it done but yo if you got a honda motor and you've never heard of a valve adjustment or don't rem remember the last time you got one yo you definitely need to get one done asap and it's gonna make your car run a lot better yeah bye guys i'll see you on the next one chill